<laughs> students of the year. Aha! Only in the this world. That we know. Aha. Ademax, a question has been ringing on my mind. I missed your multiple girlfriends. Which of them will you finally settle down with? Settle down? Eh, yeah, settle down. I'm sorry, I don't understand your question. Wait, 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 which of the questions do you not understand? Oh. Is it Titi, Mola, or Sandra? Oh. Is it Bisola, Cynthia, or Bimbo? Which of them tell us? You, you know what amazes me about this, our friend, Ademax? The way he still gets time to read and pass with the same brain, despite the numbers of the number of girls hovering and uh, you know, running around him. At this point, uh, I'm going to give it to him. <laughs> this guy is good. He's a genius. <laughs> you know, I, I, I try to carry ladies <laughs> just, just, just to imitate him. But I know the semester. <laughs> I don't think you guys are serious. The country is sitting on a keg of gunpowder. And you are here having this irrelevant conversation. I mean, I'm appalled by your by your indiscretion. There we go. Appalled. Appalled. Did, did, I, did, I, did I tell you about this use of grammar and vocabulary? <laughs> That alone is not to capture the heart of the Queen of England as well. Hey, my We thank the Lord. Mr. Boye! Mr. Kelly! Adema! Kelly Mighty! Adelo Kelly Standard! How do you do? How do you do? Ah, very good. Thank you very much. I, uh, I, I, thought, I thought you were schooling in the East. Oh, well, uh, we're on holidays, so I decided to come and check up my very good friend. That, that's a good one. Oh, thank no, that's you. a good one. Thank I appreciate you. that. Thank I appreciate you. that. How's it been? How's it been? Yeah. How's it been? Yeah. It's been a long time. It's been a long time. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, buy me some food, my queen, my one, Roto Badele Shobo. Okay. Yeah, um, uh, Mr. Adeboye, meet my, my amazing cousin here. Her name is Foluke Adeyokunu. And Foluke, meet my very good friend. Ah, his name is Enoch. Enoch Adeboye. Good afternoon, sir. How do you do? Fine. Oh, uh, where do you work? I am a student, a student of United Missionary College, and I am in my second year. Oh. What about you? Um, I'm a student of the University of Nigeria, Nsuka, yeah. and I'm studying mathematics. Oh, wow. That's interesting. Yes, yes, it's interesting. <laughs> Mr. Boye, you can let go now. Let go now, let go. <laughs> so let, let's go back to the state of things when things were still normal, you know. <laughs> yeah, so uh, where are you heading to again? Oh, I guess that's much. That's that's the way home. That's the way home. Very good. And who are you here to see again? <laughs> Me. There. Yes. That, 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 this is the way. Home. Please have your seat. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah. Sit down, please, Mr. Boye. Have your seat, please. Uh, yes, Mr. Boye. Actually, um, I'm an associate producer, producer, and a director on the set of Enoch. My name is Tamlola Mike Pamloye. I'm the writer, director, 
and director of photography on the set of Enoch. Uh, basically, the role is to bring the vision to life, to bring out the character from the scripted form to the visual form, you know, and that's where the challenge comes because I, as a writer, uh, I have to bring out the from the, script, from the script to reality. John also, um, from the producing angle, has to look at the um, some things involved in making it the reality. Like, for example, um, sets, um, production, costumes, all these other things, elements. So, the beautiful thing about our collaboration is that we have, we have our strengths. And funny enough, we didn't really discuss <laughs> this is my strength, this is your strength. This is, this, this is the angle you must cross. Don't cross this angle. We were just, we just, we, the match was just beautiful, you know. So, I'm sure he has a lot to say about it. Uh, the idea is, most of the time, when, although fine, in some, of course, as so every, every, every creative, every, every person, whether you're a director, art person, whether you are, you, know, you have, everybody has their own style. Mm. In actual, we share different styles from areas. Mm. We have a meeting point in a lot of places. A lot of there places. are places. vision, mm. which is to, to characters and, mm. you know, and all of that. So, um, as a producer, of course, how to see to smoothness of the production. Yeah. Like, and, and, yes, producer. So, what do you need to, to get this done? What are the plans? You know, and I'm running that alongside me, the director on set, too. So, we. we we blended, we jet mm. quite a number of places. And so that's why it was a smooth one. So that I knew on set to do all that stuff to prepare for the next one, just mm -hmm. with the AD. Mm -hmm. okay, what I was lacking in the next next set. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we're whether it's busy or it's tired. Or so we um, God helped us to work as well. We have we have, we have always been family checks and family. <laughs> <laughs> it was smooth too. It was very smooth. I think what this well, for example, now sometimes I get very focused on the the cinematic look. I forget some details that is sometimes they tell me like, okay, this cutting is torn, that cutting, why is this cutting torn? Why is this cutting shaking? And I, honestly, I didn't even look at those cuttings. I look at those details because I think my focus was basically on the cinematic, and that's where it complements, you know. So because I they realize you, as I told, sometimes you can't see it or you can't even see it all, you know. And sometimes, as a shot in my mind, as I'm interpreting it, to say, yeah, that's what I had in mind. I wanted to play to do it. You know, so I think also the fact that uh, we have the same mindset, vision towards the project helped a lot. You know, we run, we run together. What that is, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, <laughs> we are thinking alike. Eh? No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. What's the plan? What I plan for? It's going this way. I mean, that's not the So, you say, This is This is This is The hand of the Lord has always been on Enoch that even when he was lost in the jungle, God still found him. Hmm. Challenges on set. I think he needs to answer that question. He <laughs> one that is always faced with it. I, d I don't have his position at all. <laughs> at all. Producing, because I've, of course, I've been a producer before, so I understand what it is. It's just, it, it looks very good. The name is the most enticing name in production. Written, produced, and directed. <laughs> everybody, everybody likes that position. Producer. Very interesting position, very interesting name, but very horrific. <laughs> Demanding, Demanding responsibility. So I've been in that situation before. As well, they said he wants to do a producer. I was like, God help you. <laughs> I don't help you. Let me just focus on writing, directing. So he, so he was one carrying all the shoulders. Sometimes I was still at a distance, either fighting with, <laughs> either arguing with a production person or welfare or try to analyze the money or try to see how these things how to see how balance how you, how you, how you can balance the uh, the finances and everything and I'm, I'm off off to 
focus <laughs> on set. So that I see him completely miserable. <laughs> and I just pretend as if I don't have noticing anything. And I, I, I pretend as if I don't notice anything. So just focused on, on the work. But in all, this, this kind of situation, that's not how you won't find challenges, especially when you are trying to replicate um, the 80s, the 70s, 60s. That is so, so, it can be so frustrating because you know, you, you are ready to shoot and you discover that you can't shoot. Why? Because there's just something on the wall that looks 20, 21st century. 20, century and you just have to cut off and fix that thing. You know, it can be very, very, very annoying. So it's not easy. That's why you have, it's, it's, to be honest, the reason why this, we could pull this out is not because of us, it's because God has brought up plenty of people coming together with resources to make it happen. The set men put their all. The assistant director put their all. I remember the assistant director of AY when he created a scene where the students were talking, the main students were talking, having a conversation under the tree. Then someone just the ran. The extras were just running and running and see. The village tried right, for, for that Let's put the bamboo. He yes. went to the bush and get the bamboo. And the bamboo tree. You see now, so all those creating bridge. The bridge. I'm talking about the bridge by the river. All those things, yeah. you need hands to make it work. So the opportunity is a promise. That is at the of the champion. So you don't expect that this kind of person of this man magnitude and mm. challenges. So yeah, exactly. And it's getting most of the, I think the biggest challenges are sex mm. and vision. I told you now. <laughs> <laughs> I told you we pay any angel day. <laughs> Yes. It's strong. Yes. Because of the years we were portraying 1934, 1950, 1970s, mm. the early 80s. So mm. all the things that we have now are not functional at this time. So uh, cars. like in the village now you have to run from the pool. That thing yeah, the you have to, pool, you have to hide the stream. Oh, you have to hide so many hide things. From the river, hide from the water, hide from the water, drink, uh, water anything water, hiding. You know. So, getting vintage car was one of the issues, and God help us laugh. Dr. Lishley was really, really handy and ability to supply all the stores. And at least we had a number of vintage cars. And so, I have a vintage car. This car mm -hmm. was not for 1977, it was for 19. 1987. <laughs> so, I mean, you're something. Right. You know, so those things were issues. And then, of course, even in the modern, of course, from that time, I mean, from the village to the city, now, what, are, what are the kind of buildings, what, what, what kind of material, what kind of, mm -hmm. of clothes, paper that is used at that time? So, due to the challenges, God helped us to overcome, of course, finance too. We have, uh, those are God helped her for first. But this magnitude to mm. finance was on that. But we are, we are really not looking at you now. We're looking at God that wants to help us. So God mm. helped us to, you know, when we have at least not less than 65 people. Not, not mm. there was no time we have less than 65 people set and we live for 21 days. Mm -hmm. You know, and there's no bank or somewhere, somebody it's feeding for 65 yeah, people for bank, three days. At that time we are over 100, we got over 100, sometimes. So we are a lot. Even the crew are more than 50 people. So managing all yeah. those stuff, challenge but every challenge that came up, God helped us. Yeah, he, he had to. He got. He, he, well, well, someone said something that God told him. He had the revelation that God told him that we were just playing and he's the one doing the work. Those challenges it could have been worse than. I just thank God because we went to a lonely village and sometimes we come back in the night, ten o'clock, and there is nothing happened. I mean, everything. Mm -hmm. Our cars. Everyone arrived home safely, no one had an last event. If they really wanted to put a stop to this project, they would have done it through Yeah, events. But yeah. Then, I'm talking about real challenges, but 
<laughs> that we even have on sets are just mini match and it's because God had our back. Yes. Could have been worse. Imagine so, what if something happened to someone on set mm. or a main actor had, uh, had an issue or a call up from home that he had an emergency or something. You know, then there's, there's beyond, the, you know, beyond the control. The angels of God fighting for us. Mm. So yeah, God did. God started out our challenges. Yeah. That's it. Wow. Everything about this is peculiar. Everything about this is peculiar. From the cast, sorting out the costumes, the sets, then the story. Mm. The story. You can't miss it. The core of the story. You're talking about a living legend. You're talking about God's servant. Mm. You're talking about a man of God. You're talking about a prophet. You're talking about Daddy Gio. Hmm. They are acting out his life and are bringing out in visual form. Of course, there are many stories about him, many novels, books about him. But you know what they say about books or uh, that um, picture speaks louder. A thousand words. Thousand it pictures a thousand words. words. Yeah. So what you're not projecting, you're projecting his life to a full screen. You know, what he passed through, his struggles, projecting it out in full screen for people to see. So even an illiterate watching it will still understand because it's the drama form, it's the visual form. That alone is peculiar. That alone is different. That alone it's something. So all of us that came on this project, I think we didn't come with the mindset that I just it's not a fiction, this is a, this is a, this is real, this is real life. That is why we experience some things on sets that are very peculiar. Like on when the, during the graduation, the executive producer just bursts into tears. Several times. Several times. We have to bust into tears because this is real life, your future. Mm. It is a fiction now. You're like, wow, mm. that we wrote the story. Well. You know, but this is not just someone writing something, mm. this is all passing through something. So we are on a journey. It's like we're passing through the same journey that, that the Gio passed through mm. all his life. Mm. It's like summarizing that the Gio's life in three hours. Mm. Summarizing his life. Yes, it's rising 80 years, not 80 years, it's rising the foundation. It's entire life. It's entire life because it's now, it's rising in 80 hours. Well, the number of peculiarity, the peculiarity of this one is because it's by epic, as, as I said. So it's, it's not like the regular one that you can tell the story the way you want to tell it. That time where we had to cancel some certain things, so we feel that like we're not convinced about it, or we could not we could not find some facts about it, we had to cancel it. There are scenes where that in fact, there was a scene in the Enoch story, of course, as maybe as you see the movie later, where that 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 the boy, that the mic playing and uh, uh, the kid around me, and then the real spirit of God came down, and the crew and the crew were falling apart, you know, and then under the anointing, you know, when he was praying, at the way. You know, that, that, that was when he impacted and gave the spirit to Pastor Deboe. As, as it is, that time, he came down raw. Unexpected. So these are, these, are, these are the peculiarity, spiritual peculiarity, technical peculiarity, where you have to put in certain pictures of certain way. You know, and then you know, uh, uh, I where? Said, I said that. Mm, yes. I said that I, I say it's not a very difficult talk. God will give me ideas on how to sing. Mm. I just say, I'm like, wow, this is God. Particularly the NC. And John just had this idea already. We can't say we from each other. Mm. On how we want to sing to you. Know, so, as the same. When we finish it in the end, so that's the scene of the back end that we went on or talking to the end of the day. Yes, and the recording will be recorded. Yeah. We finished the scene. We felt that this is going to be different. Yes. Yes. It's our only God. So God also is in charge of the lines. God is in charge of the lines and everything. We see God. You know, uh, the issue of the dog. <laughs> That I, is, a, is an unforgettable situation. When you see it, we had the first dog that was misbehaving, that was biting people and running around. And at last, we had another dog that came, white dog. You know, when I saw the, when you finish, you finish the script, one of the biggest was uh, that acting that on me, that was Texas, Oklahoma, and then the dog. And so when 
the, the, the second dog came, he followed the camera, the camera followed it, was looking back. He was saying, as if he was, he was, he was he follow me, you know? He was obedient as if a normal character. I'm telling you, it can only be God. So we saw God in the car, even in the act, like our lead cast, he's, he has never been acting in movies, he's a pastor, and he's own, doing his own useful, uh, whatever. And then God called him about that, and his speech came upon him also. And he was delivering, he, 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 even when we were tired, he would say, Mora, Mora, Mora. And then his energy began to rise. So this person on his own is peculiar because of who is involved. Who I've told the story of that way we are telling and how we told the story, God make it peculiar. So, oh my God, it's not a peculiar greatness when you saw it.